Greg, you recently did an update on commercial partnerships. Why don't we start there? Sure. Uh, so we announced that we signed a, a new commercial partner in V Medcare. V Medcare is a business that's been in Canada for 50 years. They're in a couple of con uh, additional countries around the world. Um, they primarily provide packaging to the healthcare industry or to the uh, consumer products industry. Uh, specifically, they make the tubes that deodorant, creams, shampoos, et cetera, go into. So this is a well-established company who took the opportunity or saw the opportunity uh, when the pandemic hit to move into the personal protective equipment space as well, i.e. mask production. At the height of the pandemic, they were producing over 20 million masks per month. So they have uh, established production capacity and capability. Uh, they have a lot of corporate clients as well as they have um, government, uh, government contracts as well. They saw our technology as a differentiator. Uh, it would give them the ability to go out and sell more in the personal protective equipment space. They were ideal for us because they're big and well-established with an existing distribution network. So it was absolutely a perfect partnership for us. Unfortunately, that was on the back of uh, Trebor, who was our original client or our original partner in this space. Unfortunately, Trebor filed for receivership in July. Um, we began diversifying our production and distribution partners late last year. And then uh, obviously this, uh, the, the latest uh, uh, relationship for us was with BMedCare, which we announced last week. We just had a wall-to-wall like, -wall crowd and investor talk, and everyone was very interested in your recent trip to Washington, DC. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? You can see the smile on my face already, Tracy. Yeah, that was, uh, that was an incredible trip. It was, uh, we, we hired FTI Consulting Group back in uh, March of this year. Uh, we knew that we would need to get in and talk to the various uh, regulatory bodies in the US. We needed to get our story into the market in a big way. So FTA, uh, FTI based in Washington had a lot of governmental relationships. So they mapped out a strategy for us and we went down to Washington in August. We had 18 meetings in three days. 14 of which were with various members of Congress. We primarily discussed uh, indoor air quality and our solution in the HVAC space, and that resonated across the board. Uh, they're very pro-business in the US, uh, both on the uh, Republican and Democrat side. We met both sides of the aisle, uh, and to a meeting, they were all interested at some level in what we were doing. There's tremendous amount of funding available in the U.S. market through the different bills that have been passed, the Airborne Act, the Inflation Reduction Act. There was additional funding that was available through COVID that's been pushed down at the state level. Those pools of money are still available. So we're, we, uh, we developed a lot of momentum there. We'll be going back to see a number of the contacts that we met. There's one senator in particular who's actually, I would call him a quasi-expert on graphene. This absolutely resonated with his office, and there will be some substantial opportunities for us in this space uh, going forward. So that was on the, uh, on the congressional side. We also met with a, a number of potential end customers as well, and uh, there will be more news forthcoming uh, in that front in, in the coming weeks. Fantastic. Further to that, Phase two testing uh, on the HVAC applications. Can you talk to us a little bit more about that? Because it sounds like in DC, this was one of your conversations. It was, Tracy. We, we talked a lot about phase one testing. That's where we proved up the efficacy, the safety, and the green nature of our solution. It's a passive solution that doesn't require additional energy for it to be effective. Uh, phase two is actually proving it out in a real world environment, in a classroom environment. That testing is ongoing as we speak. Um, we will have information and data on that once it's completed. I'm not giving any timelines. People are always trying to pull me down to timelines and we don't uh, provide timelines. But I can tell you, as uh, soon as that information is available, we will be putting it out into the marketplace. Uh, a lot of the end 
uh, customers, potential end users, as well as Congress is all very interested in this as well. And there are a number of significant entities at the table, regulatory bodies, uh, other government agencies that are acutely focused on what we're doing, given the simplicity and elegance of our solution. It's a passive solution that can be added to any existing system. So it's, uh, it's very user friendly and the opportunity in that market is, uh, it, it's basically a frontier market. Speaking of that, speaking of the market here, Greg, with all of these companies, a lot of, a lot of companies are utilizing more conservative approaches and marketing here into the fall, but you seem to be growing at an exponential, an exponential rate. Can you talk to us about what we should anticipate in the next quarter and how you're dealing with your growth structure? It, it, it is, Tracy, and it's. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up because, uh, as uh, most of our shareholders know, we did a, a significant capital raise at the beginning of this year, and we're in an excellent. Our, our treasury is in an excellent position, but we're being very judicious in our spending. Just given the nature, to your point, the nature of the markets right now, uh, we're we're still in a rate hiking environment, which likely means we're headed into a recession. How deep? We don't know. So we uh, we took the decision to be conservative with our spend, and that includes hiring. But fortunately or unfortunately, um, we're seeing significant growth. And uh, for example, even in our, our regulatory group, we've had that two or three bodies this year. We're going to be adding some additional bodies. But again, we're being very careful when we do that. But we need these hires to allow us to execute on our business plan. And we expect that uh, these hires will pay off substantially in the next three to six months. Very exciting update. Greg, as always, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Tracy.